there, Gemini, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of May 27th through the 1st, and we're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also, if this reading resonates and you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. going on in your recent past here, Gemini. Okay, I don't know what's happening here for you, but there is some pretty intense energies for you this week. Main energy for your reading is the tower. There's definitely something very unexpected, almost like you can't fight it. Like, whatever this is, it needs to happen. You've been trying to resist it. You've been trying to, like, avoid it. You can't, you can't just avoid it anymore is what I'm getting. So in the recent past, you get the Nine of Swords, the Justice, and the Eight of Swords. There's really a situation here that you want to balance out. You want to set things right. You really do want to restore divine balance um, within the situation. Now, this could be a relationship. This could be a friendship. But whatever this is, there's a lot of stress for you. You're really up in your head. You're really overanalyzing this. There's a lot of anxiety surrounding your desire to want to set things right, to want to bring back balance and equality into the situation. Now, in the current situation, you get the judgment, the nine of wands, the five of swords. There's a decision that you're making here, but you're fighting it. It's almost like part of you, your soul, your higher self is guiding you in this direction. And it's like, okay, Gemini, do this, this, and this. You want to do it. And then you keep fighting it. You keep digging in your heels like, nope, not doing it, not doing it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not like, I'm not going to budge. Um, with the Five of Swords here, it's almost an energy of kind of self-sabotage. Like, your higher self is trying to guide you in a direction, and your ego, your mind, right? We'll see when we clarify. You keep fighting it, like digging digging in your heels, fighting it tooth and nail for some reason. Now, in the near future, you get the King of Swords, which is you. I don't assign gender to my cards. The Three of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You're showing me here that you want to reconcile. You want a reconciliation after an ending now for some of you you want a reconciliation for some of you you wanted a reconciliation at some point and in the near future you're kind of like yeah i don't i don't want this anymore let's see let's clarify this is a really intense reading even for you as an air sign this is this is pretty intense let's take a look at the tower which is the main energy for your reading this week The tower is clarified by the world, the sun, and the ace of swords. There's definitely a cycle closing out here for you. It's almost like you chose to close the cycle. You chose to end it out. It was something that you couldn't fight. But what's beautiful is as this cycle is coming to an end, as difficult as it is, as kind of like, uh, I want to say like it's very like you gritting your teeth and just getting through it. As difficult as that was, at the other end is happiness and clarity. So I don't know what this is. We'll see when we clarify, but you're definitely in the process, uh, the tail end of closing out a cycle, which has been quite difficult for you. And you're now stepping into a much happier, much clearer energy. Let's take a look at the nine of swords for you in the recent past. The nine of swords is clarified by the two of cups, the eight of pen, or sorry, the eight of cups and the three of pentacles. So there was definitely love here, okay? But somebody was emotionally disconnected from this. It's showing up as love, but in the 3D world, it's more of like a friendship. So what do I mean by that? You and this person may have met, you may have hung out for a little bit. Somebody's heart wasn't in it because their emotions, they wouldn't allow themselves to get emotionally invested in this. And so they kept saying, oh, this is a friendship. This is just us hanging out. This is something casual. This is something, you know, there was more to that than, than just something casual, than just you and this person working together. But, and I do feel like it's you, Gemini, you didn't allow yourself to access those feelings. You didn't allow yourself to get emotionally connected and, and attached to this. And that came from a place of anxiety and stress. For some reason, this whole emotion of love, of emotional vulnerability, of being emotionally open to whatever this was, that stressed you out. Let's take a look at the justice in the recent past for you. The justice is clarified by the Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups. You do want to set things right. Something happened between you and this person in the past. You do want to set it right. Um, 
you really, really do. It's like your higher self is like, yo, we gotta, we gotta fix this and not fix this in the sense of getting back together with them, but more so to like, just balance out the energies. There seems to be very heavy, very like E type of energy tied up to a past event between you and this person. And I do see you wanting to set it right. Um, this person could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but again, with the page of swords, you're not doing much. You're, you may be like keeping tabs on them. You may be looking at their social media, but to actually reach out, to actually set things right, I don't see you doing that. Let's take a look at the Eight of Swords in the recent past for you. I like that. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, the Fool, the Ace of Cups. And so there was a lot of overthinking here. There was a lot of anxiety. There was a lot of overanalyzing. And I feel like that shifted for you. That changed into an energy of, you know what? F it. I want a new beginning with this person. I want to start fresh from a very loving, emotional place. Let's just wipe the slate clean. So all this overthinking, all the past, all the anxiety that I felt in the recent past, it's showing me the energy is at least available for you to release it, for you to completely let go of it and start fresh and just completely wipe the slate clean and start from a place of love. This is like a complete 180 from this energy of, you know, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. Oh, you got the four of pentacles. The judgment in the current situation is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, which flew out of the deck, the Magician, and the Four of Cups. You do want to set things right. You're manifesting a transformation and a shift between you and this person, okay? But I see you still holding back. I see you still holding back from this person, not really sharing how you feel, not really telling them how you feel, not even possibly communicating with them. This is all going on within you. And... If I'm being honest, it's making you quite unhappy because on the one hand, you are manifesting a complete transformation, a complete shift between you and this person. And on the other hand, you're still holding back. You're not actually doing anything about that. So it's kind of like you want something, but you're not actually putting in the work to, to, to get whatever this is. And that's making you quite unhappy in the current situation. Let's take a look at the Nine of Wands for you in the current situation. Nine of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Star. Again, I feel like I'm just repeating myself. You want to restore balance. You want to make things work between you and this person. And make things work doesn't necessarily mean a reconciliation, right? It could just be clearing the air, burying the hatchet, talking about what happened, and just completely wiping that slate clean so you're not holding on to this anger, this resentment from the past. But again, in the current situation, your higher self is guiding you, and it's like, hey, Gemini, go set things right and you're just digging in your heels you're like nope nope not doing it not doing it i'm not moving i'm not budging i don't know why this this feels very ego for me but i don't know if that's the case and again this could be your energy or your person's energy let's take a look at the five of swords in the current situation i want to see what this is about for you The Five of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Devil. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is you're taking this energy of stability. You see a long-term potential with this person. You see a future with this person. Like, I feel like you feel like this person is very complimentary to you. Like, you could actually build something with them. But what you're doing is you're taking that and your fears are actually distorting it. Your fears, your insecurities, the ones you carry deep, deep within you, Right? I'm not talking about looks like, oh, you know, my hair doesn't look good today. No, no, no. The deep-seated fears, this person's going to leave me. They're going to abandon me. Nobody's going to love me. Those fears, and those are just examples, you take those fears and then you put them on top of this beautiful ten of pentacles. And what that's doing is completely distorting how you see the situation and how you see this person. So instead of seeing them as somebody that you can build a future with, somebody with long-term potential... You're coming in and it's like, no, this person's just going to hurt me. Why would I do this? It completely distorting the situation and not the best way. And this is a form of self-sabotage. I do see you kind of coming in and doing this, not on a conscious level, but it's almost like this is like a program that you have that's running in the background where it's like anytime something feels a little good, right? There's love, there's feelings, there's emotion, there's potential there. That programming comes in and it's like, Gemini, no, 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 no. What are you doing? What type of long-term potential? No, let's put on these glasses, which will show you the reality of it. And it's not the reality. It's a distorted reality that you've adopted at this point. 
Let's take a look at your near future. I want to see what the King of Swords is for you in the near future. King of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Lovers, the Three of Wands. You definitely want to take action towards this person, towards this connection. You're very determined to do so. And I feel like you know exactly what to do, what to say. Like, if I was like Gemini, go get this person back. Go let yourself feel these feelings. You know exactly what to do. You can reach out to them. You can talk to them. You know, whatever. You know what needs to be done here. But you're waiting. You're like, it's not the right time. It's not the right time right now. Yes, I have these feelings. Yes, I feel drawn to this person. Yes, yes, all those things. But not the right time. Okay, well, how long do you want to wait? I don't know. I'll get back to you, but it's, it's not the right time. Okay, let's take a look at the Three of Cups in the near future for you. Three of Cups is clarified by the Four of Swords, Page of Cups, King of Pentacles. There is some opening up here. Your heart is opening up a little bit, Gemini. The desire to reconcile with this person, to heal things is there. And again, reconciliation doesn't mean you have to get back together with them. It could just mean talking, healing, getting through the difficult emotions and setting things right. Okay. You are open to this. You are still coming a bit from a place of my way or the highway, right? Like I don't see you coming in and trying to actually empathize with this person. I feel like you're coming in more so from a place of I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to apologize in my way, right? Take it or leave it. But you're going to get an apology from me and it's my way and you're going to like it. And you know what? I feel like that's kind of fine. I feel like at least you're opening up. At least you're expressing yourself here. So I do feel like some progress is being made, which is a very big difference from the situation of you just hiding behind or hiding these emotions from yourself. Let's take a look at the Ten of Swords in the near future. Ten of Swords is clarified by the Justice, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. It's almost like there is, how do I explain this? So you're kind of postponing taking action. And then you finally do take action in your own way, right? You're kind of like, hey, this is how I feel. I'm sorry. Take it, you know? I do feel like there is an ending here to that whole phase of, because you got the Justice in the recent past tied up to you wanting to set things right, but not actually doing much about it. I feel like in the near future, that's coming to an end. You are gonna do something about it, but it's literally gonna be you gritting your teeth through this whole thing. And again, this is gonna be a stupid example of what I'm gonna give, but just res just take it with me for a second. It's almost like a kid being told to clean up their room and they know that when they clean up their room, it's gonna feel amazing, they're gonna love it, but they don't wanna do it. They don't wanna do it, but they do wanna do it deep inside because they know they're gonna get rewarded, but they don't wanna go through the process of actually cleaning their room. This is the energy that I'm getting here in the near future. It's like you want to do it because you know it's what you want and you know it's going to make you feel better, but you don't want to go through the process of actually doing it. Oh, man. Um, let's close off your reading this week. Let's see what the universe has for you. I love that. It's a slow healing process. Remember how we said you have this distorted view due to your fears? You're, you're healing that. You get the devil, temperance, knight of pentacles. There's healing. There's a lot of healing happening here for you when it comes to these unhealthy habits, unhealthy patterns, distorted patterns, distorted views that you have. There's a lot of healing happening, but it's a very, very, very slow process. But I feel like it's this connection in particular which is bringing up this healing for you, which is helping you heal all these energies. I, I love this for you. So that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you here next week.